fire destroyed that plant in Warrington earlier this week. Investigators still do not have an exact cause, but say there was no foul play. Tim Becker is in Warrington with new information. This plant, or what is left of it anyway at the moment, is one of the largest employers here in Warrington, home to over 140 full time workers who've spent the last several days wondering about their long term future, how they might pay the bills. News from the CEO of Pacific Seafood put their worries to rest today. Your livelihood just went down the, down the drain. You're thinking, what am I going to do next week? What am I going to do in a month? Where am I going to go? There's not a lot of jobs around here. That's a big employer. Kelly Simonson has customers that work at Pacific Seafood, so she appreciates what she just heard. Pacific CEO Frank Dulcich releasing a statement saying the company is leasing temporary space that will be fully operational in just eight days. So many family. Uh, Families are dependent on, on uh, the seafood industry uh, for their livelihood that, uh, you know, as soon as they can get going, uh, they're back at it and we appreciate it. After Tuesday's fire, employees only knew they'd be paid through the end of this week. With a temporary processing plant opening so soon, though, the company decided to extend full pay and benefits until then. The fire was devastating to this community and now that he's... Frank is going to pay them to keep working is amazing for everybody because that affects this whole community. With them not working, that would be devastating to all of us. A lot of employees are still earning their keep, helping with cleanup and other preparations for continued seafood processing in the area. They wanted to get back to work right away, and so that you can see that they're out there today getting the dock cleared and uh, getting ready to be operational as soon as possible. The temporary facility is going to be somewhere in Astoria, but the company is not ready just yet to say exactly where it will be. In Warrington, Tim Becker, Coin 6 News. And stay with us at Coin 6 News and Coin.com for the very latest on the rebuilding of Pacific Seafood and the search for the cause of that fire. When new information comes in, we'll bring it to you on air and online.